think there was always a passion for lost and forgotten places since my early childhood, especially for abundant castles, asylums and the creepy places underneath like forgotten crypts and tombs of dark clouded memories. I have very intense memories of old black and white movies dealing with a bunch of kids who were climbing into deserted mansions on a treasure hunt or playing detectives. But in my childhood I didn't have the opportunity to explore abundant buildings like these because I grew up in Bavaria and Bavaria in this context is the most boring place in the world. So it kept only a fictional adventure to me. But watching these movies did something to me. These pictures and impressions in these old movies almost appear like an always returning dream of a life lived before. It was the birth of a desire which was sleeping for a very long time. And of course I was also driven by a strong passion for making films. In present my profession is doing films for the industry, so it went from passion to business. And business isn't always fun. I love my job, but sometimes it's really hard to remember this is something we loved in the past. So to get my mind free from my daily business, I am looking out for adventures and I mean no bungee jumping, hiking on Mount Everest or having a safari in Tanzania. Nothing you can buy. One lucky day nine years ago I discovered pictures of real abandoned buildings in the web no movie backdrops, really old castles, mansions, deserted hotels, spooky hospitals and of course I wanted to explore them as soon as possible. So now I am experiencing the unfulfilled adventures of my childhood. It's like in these old black and white movies, climbing over walls, stalking through enchanted gardens, discover hidden entries, squeezing through windows, crawling through dark shafts and dusty basement halls, armed with a flashlight to reach the places of our desires.
Infiltrating these buildings means to leave the comfort zone. Getting dirty is not the only problem. You never know what will happen. It is always an, an adventure. I was a bit afraid, I can't deny, but I felt really safe because um, the team was great. Everyone was supporting me because I was walking there in heels and it wasn't easy, but I kind of also enjoyed it because you have to do something stupid in life <laughs> to remember. Also, sicherlich ist es gefährlich, was wir tun, aber ich sag mal, der Alltag birgt auch genug Gefahren und wir verfallen jetzt nicht in irgendeine Routine, sondern äh, achten auf unsere Umgebung und die Gefahren, die da lauern. Sometimes I'm feeling like a movie character, like Indiana Jones. I know this sounds childish, but this is what we feel in certain moments. We are a fellowship of friends who share the same passion. We have been exploring together since a few years, so we can trust each other if things are getting serious. After a long day of exploring and hitting the road, we love to keep it simple. We're looking out for lovely places to stay there overnight. And we prefer to have dinner and some drinks under the stars. For outsiders, we might appear like adults behaving like children. But my justification to them is, I have the fun of my life. But it's not always a road trip of fun. There are hundreds of hours of research with Google and satellite maps. Ich verbringe eigentlich doppelt so viel Zeit mit Recherche und Tourplanung als die eigentliche Zeit, die wir dann unterwegs sind. But after all the research and hours on the road, it is really a joy to be on location. Because here I can do whatever I want. Do what I can't do in my daily business. Because no time is left or wishes of customers are telling the opposite. No bad compromises. The only reason to hurry up is for chasing the light. I will never forget the moment I saw this beautiful castle for the very first time. Dressing up as a princess and walking around in those beautiful castles, it's such an indescribable feeling and it's just a girl's dream coming true, every girl dreams coming true. But it's not only a girl's dream coming true, even the boys will find their special moments. More and more things happen you will never experience in normal life. You'll get to places you know only out of books and movies. It does not matter if you're standing in a pit full of bones, walking around in a nuclear infested ghost town, sneak through a dark lunatic asylum or stumbling across the leaning decks of a rusty ocean liner. Very often these places appear like a rusty playground for adults. I was feeling like Lara Croft when I was wearing my cool leather jacket and the shoes and this awesome wig. I had so much fun like trying to get into all those old buildings and castles and I remember pushing the equipment in front of me through this um, passage and I was really, really happy that I'm so tiny. <laughs> Sometimes in certain places it is important to me to work up the history facts. And what's better than to do that with historical costumes and props? So I was lucky to find an actress. Lucky because she does everything we do to get our goals. I had no doubts because I saw Mike's portfolio and I was so amazed. That's why I just went for it. 
I didn't really think about it because it was like Mike found me on Facebook and asked me if I want to come to a trip like in two weeks <laughs> and um, I just said yes and I gladly did and um, I'm happy I did because it was so much fun and it was a huge adventure. So we create surreal daydreams and I really mean daydreams because a stay in these places is like drifting away into another dimension. A parallel universe. A romantic past where people had time for the beautiful things. No need to be always efficient and functional like nowadays, where beauty was not a laughable triviality. You have the feeling of being lost in time. Um, you have the feeling that time stopped entirely only for you to wander around those halls and it just feels incredibly amazing. I am sure this passion with journeys to places like these gave me a different, more critical view to the present society. I started exploring in 2009 and I am really addicted to it. I am addicted to travel beside touristic paths. I love to get in touch with people there. And besides all the adventures, the fun on the road and the drinks <laughs> and laugh in the night, these abandoned places brought back my true love for filmmaking. Kamera läuft. Und bitte.